Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Monday, April 12th, 2010. This morning I wanted to take a look at adding a menu to a VisualWorks UI. And to do that I have a very simple UI. The idea here is not to bog you down in the complexity of what's going on in the UI, just how to add a menu to it. So I have this little UI, press the button, dialog pops up, nothing complicated. Figure out how to do that. Let's go to the Painter menu. You find that there is a Menu Editor option. So we go there and Add Menu. You go to Edit, New Item and we'll just put down your standard file exit type options. So I'm going to put down here ampersand file so that I can have a hotkey. Now you're not going to see the hotkey on this platform because we're on the Mac and by default VisualWorks doesn't put hotkeys on these. It probably should with the Apple key but it doesn't. So we'll go to the new item here and we'll do exit and again we'll put the ampersand if we were on Windows or another platform again it would put that in. So we'll put close request behind that, which is the standard method for closing. And we'll just do that. Now we want to move that to the right, and what that'll do, if we do move right, is that'll make this menu look like this. Now we can always test this out by going here to the test menu file. I can see that's a pull right this way, and it'll be a standard drop down on a window. So let's go ahead and install it. So we'll do menu install and we'll pick my UI which is the UI I have and we're going to put in the selector of menu bar and that looks like we're basically done. We've gone ahead and installed it. We close that. Now if we open this you're going to see that it didn't actually do anything and the reason for that isn't that it didn't install. It's that we haven't told the UI to add the menu. So let's go over here to the class side. You'll find that there is a window spec and we could edit that. So let's hit edit. You also see the menu bar there so let's pull this into the view and we have to do one small thing. We have to go here to the basic definition of the window up here and you notice menu bar enable and put in a selector for it. So we put in the one that matches menu bar, hit apply and now you notice there's the menu and you can pull it down you can see that it looks like it works. So now we'll just go ahead and install this. Since we made a change to it we have to install it. We don't have to define anything. So we'll just go right click open and you see there's our UI file, exit, and it operates the way you think it should. So that's really about all there is to adding a menu through the GUI tools. You can also build menus programmatically. I've covered that in another screencast, but that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.